The gas is methane, and they found it emanating from two key faults that run under Puget Sound. One, the South Whidbey Island Fault near where I am, the other out from the Seattle Fault. And it was discovered by accident because somebody kept recording side scan sonar from the UW's biggest research ship back in 2011, but they hadn't looked at that data until recently. And you can hear what that sounds like. It sounds like crinkling. This is the sound of bubbles coming from the bottom of Puget Sound. And using scanning technology, this is what they look like, plumes of them. But it was just pure accident. A discovery made by accident by a former student of oceanography professor, Paul Johnson. She was looking at the data and she said, oh, this is Puget Sound. Look at those bubbles coming out of the Kingston Arch there, right by the ferry terminal. And it wasn't just at Kingston. They found plumes off Alki Point in Seattle, too. The fact that you have these clusters of plumes, maybe 20 of them, around Alki Point in the Seattle Fault, going all the way over to Bainbridge Island, that says these fault zones are somehow controlling where this methane comes up. Okay. Then the second one is, all right, now you're bringing this methane into the sound. What impact does it have on the environment? Methane is a serious greenhouse gas. Johnson has tracked it out in the ocean, but the methane there gets absorbed before it makes it to the surface. In Puget Sound, it makes it to the atmosphere. More research is planned. Thor and I are still uh, working on finding exactly what's going on out there. I find it amazing, and I've been here, I've been at the university since 1967 and on the faculty for 50 years, and nobody knew these plumes were out there. Obviously, the methane that is coming out of these faults is natural. One of the things they want to figure out is just how much that contributes to the natural background of methane gas in the atmosphere here in Puget Sound. And they also want to find out why this is connected to these earthquake faults and what that means, if anything. In Edmonds, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.